another video. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing and a haul and a try on of Shein. So I got this big package in the mail today. I wasn't actually planning on doing a video today. Um, I know a lot of people like to do meat free Monday. I like to do makeup free Monday. As you can see my hair is up. It is quite dirty. Um, and I was not planning to do a video, but I obviously had to put on makeup. So I wanted to just do a really fast, quick look because I'm not planning to do anything else today. I always stay home on Mondays, or if I do pop out to run errands, I go makeup free. Um, so I wanted to get ready really, really quickly. So when I do that, I like to kind of just do a simpler, more natural look. Um, and I also wanted to say, I've been using these Pony Effect cosmetics that I got in my I, Me, Me and Soak uh, kind of, I went to the blogger branch and they gave us these uh, goodie packs. Um, I talked about them um, in a video which I will link below. Um, but yeah, so I used these today and I kind of quite look like this sort of natural look um, and it's really fast. I'm obsessed with this cushion. This is what I do when I don't care and I want to get ready really fast goes on so quickly and then I just use this little I mean it's not exactly the right colors for me but I quite like it because it's like more natural and then I use the concealer and then this is the lip gloss and then a bit of mascara a tiny touch of blush and you're done um, yeah so we we're planning on doing this video today but the package showed up so I ordered this it's Monday today and I ordered this last Tuesday so it's come in less than a week which is pretty amazing it's very fast um so I've heard a lot about uh ugh, I've heard a lot about Shein from other youtubers bloggers and what have you um I looked online loads of times like their clothes and accessories but kind of I was a bit scared because you just don't know with the sizing so you have to measure yourself um, and they kind of recommend sizes based from that. So I really have no idea how it's going to go. It could be like awful. It could be really good. I guess we're going to see together. So let me get it open. So I think I spent a, around $150. I can't remember exactly. I'll put the prices of everything below in the description box anyway. And most of the things... Oh, God. Very hard to open. I hate these things. I probably should have been a bit more prepared and got the old scissors out. Oh, it looks like a dirty tape. I think. Oh, Ooh, I see pretty colours in here at least. Okay, maybe I can just pull it out. Oh, okay. First item is so it comes in the Shein packaging. This is dress. And let's have a look. Oh, so they come in these little zip blocks. Zip blocks, so that's good. Oh, these are the real zips. So I could actually reuse these. Um, so, oh, I do like the print. This is very nice. Where's the top? Okay. Oh, I want to say this is, this is kind of like a summer dress wrap it's got these kind of little slightly flirty sleeves which i'm kind of obsessed with because they kind of cover up your bingo wings and it's a maxi dress um let me see if i can find out the price of this before we kind of Oops. yeah but hang on so there was actually no information um printed you know usually you order things and they give you like a piece of paper with everything you ordered and the prices and then that's what you tick if you want to return it she and have provided no such information unless i'm being blind and can't see it but um i can look up the descriptions and the prices from my email receipt and I will post them all below. So the first up is this dress. I think let's just go try it on and see what we think. So this is the first dress. Kind of looks okay from down here. I am wearing tights because I haven't shaved my legs. But as you move up, we kind of enter a bit of a problem. So I got this in a medium, which was clearly a mistake on my part. 
Although the shoulder seems quite large, but obviously if I was not wearing this kind of bra top, my breasts would be hanging right out. There is just clearly not enough um, material to cover my ample bosom, which isn't even that ample. And also, I feel like this is the opposite. It highlights my fat, shaky area. It's also the material is thin. Uh, yeah, this, the bottom it is okay. Maybe I could cut that off and wear it as a skirt. I guess I could wear it as like a bikini kind of cover. Like maybe if I just left it. Oh wait, I can't do that. Um, yeah, this was not good. But I could maybe just wear it at the beach as kind of like a half cover up. But yeah, this is not attractive. I'm not happy about this one. Okay. So, next. Ooh. Very summery treat. It's another one of my favorite. I love this boat neck. If this boat neck stays in forever, I'll be happy because I find it's very flattering on my man shoulders, which you wouldn't think it would be. And also, as I said, covers up the fatty arms. Um, so I don't know if this is the right size. We're gonna try it on. It's got some stretch, so I think this might be cute, like a little cute little beachy dress. It's also got this kind of um kind of embroidered bottom. Stripes are always cute. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Okay. Um so this one, I like the print, I like the scallop. I just feel the top is, again, too big. Like, why are they making the top so much larger than the bottom? It doesn't really make sense. Like, I've seen Chinese people, they're not proportioned like this. Like, who are they proportion proportionizing for? I don't know. Um, I feel like a bit like a milkmaid, like. There's a lot going on here. Um, I don't mind the length. <laughs> would be probably much cuter if I took my tights off. I would probably maybe wear this in the summer um, just because it's very light and it's like that breathable kind of cotton material. I probably would wear this, but maybe with a bag and a, like a hat, it would just look less, I don't know. It just seems very large to me right now. Okay, this one's a maybe. A lot of these bags. All right, this, ooh, I remember this one. This one had lots of reviews. So this is another one of those neckline dresses. The frilly kind of sleeves and this blue flower print. This one looks very thin. This will be a proper kind of summer dress for Korea when, yeah, like that's very, thin and see-through um, for when the weather is like unbearably hot um, and humid and you want to be wearing as little as possible. Um, I really can't show you in this thing. We're just going to have to, um, let's see how it looks on my body. Um, it has a zip at the back. Looking quite portly, I have to say, but I think that's just me. So clearly I am a large size. Um, because this kind of is exactly my size. Actually, not too short. I like that it has the drop hem at the back because that is my fattest area. Like, I have knee fat, so that kind of covers that. I just don't know about this top ruffle thing, and obviously, I would need to pin it here to because I don't like to show my non-existent cleavage or sad cleavage. Um, and I would, yeah have to think about this because I think this is just too open. It's a shame. I don't know if you can move these. No. I like it from the waist down again. See, yeah, this is the thing with their tops. Like, I'm quite broad at the top. I think my top is large, but this is just... Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Not my favourite, I have to say. Ooh, it's striking. Looks a bit like a, a beach chair. I don't know. I'm always quite drawn to this mustard yellow, but I don't know actually if this is a colour that actually becomes me. But okay, so this is kind of like a linen y kind of material. 
so it's got little straps and then it's got these kind of um kind of white and brown buttons which is actually lined as well but this feels like a this feels like the kind of dress you would get in zara and pay like 70 dollars for so if this looks good i think i'll be quite quite happy about this one um again this is the large which was recommended i mean it looks about right i guess you're just gonna have to try these things on to see kind of how they look so this one actually fits me really well sorry i have not done up these buttons i'm in a bit of a rush um it obviously needs a good iron but i like it. it's a little pocket i think it fits nicely on the top it's a bit baggy around the waist but i could easily put a small belt around i like that it's kind of long i quite like this i'm happy with this one this is like one of the more expensive things i think um but yeah this will be cute for the beach like yeah i'm quite happy with this one very happy indeed like this is this is good i think they did this in several different patterns and materials if i remember rightly so and there was like a blue version, which maybe I would order. So, if you know me and my blog well, you know I'm a big hat person, so I ordered a hat. Guess it has not... <laughs> it's really not survived the journey, this one, has it? Ah! Maybe we can push it back into shape. Hmm, not obviously very good hair day for a hat. I might have to try this on later um, once I take my hair out. See you. Let's see if we can re... I like the colour. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reshape this um, and try this on at the end for you. I don't know where, because it's just supposed to be slightly dented here. Yeah, I might... Cons I think you should reconsider if you're thinking about hats because, yeah, this is a bit of a fail. I think, unless I can reshape it, but I will let you know. I actually got like so much stuff here for like $150. I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Although it's a lot pinkier than I thought. It's just kind of, I thought it was a red wine colour, but this looks to be pinky. So this is, again, my favourite neckline. It's also got this kind of scallop kind of detail it's in this kind of it's like a jersey material it's very soft very soft indeed it's kind of stretchy kind of skatery dress i do feel like i wish i bought this in black now looking at the color though um it looks quite big in the torso i don't know if this is actually going to fit me it's pleated it actually looks like good quality that looks nice on it's not too short I think again we need to try these things on. Um, yeah, if this is nice, I would get this in black because I always need a good like black dress or like an LBD for like these more kind of formal dinner things that I go to, where you wouldn't wear something too sparkly, kind of business formal. And obviously, I'm not a business person, and that's really not my style at all. So to have something that yeah would be conservative, shall we say, but also my style and not like completely boring so this could be good i don't know how i feel about the color though but we'll try it on okay so this dress is actually quite sweet to keep this dress i would have to hmm, either lose a bit of weight and get the medium or gain a bit of weight but i don't hate it if i have a conservative dinner party thing like it's a very good length i was worried that everything was going to be really short and it's not so if you're looking at this dress yeah it's not too short but it's just just not particularly flattering in this mirror but again maybe i could put on a belt could even be good yeah so i'd make a cute bridesmaid's dress actually like if you want a budget bridesmaid's dress i think most people look good in this style this could be a good option. It looks like I did get something in black as well. Oh, maybe that's why I didn't get the other one in black because I got this one and they were quite similar. Okay, I think the other one is... Okay, so this is another black dress. This looks small. 
Um, it's kind of got scalloping around the neck and arms. And it's quite short too. And this one compared to the other one is very thin. Like you can kind of, I can, I can look through this material and see. But the purple one, yeah, this one's a much thicker one. Maybe that was more expensive. I don't know. I need to look up the prices. So do bear in mind, I guess, that you pay for what you get. But it looks quite boring, this. It's maybe too conservative. But um, let's go try it on. Okay. So this is the black kind of thinner version of the purple one. Sorry, I have not put that on. I haven't done up with it properly because I can't do it by myself. So this can be as, this one is very conservative. This one fits me better, I feel. Maybe because it's just higher at the, higher at the, it's quite sexy on the back. That's cute with the V. Um, it's not quite as long as the other one. I don't hate this. This, I mean, it's not like stylish, but if I'm going to a conservative kind of a party, this could be a, there's some heels and a cute clutch, I think. Could be nice. Let me show you in this mirror. This mirror is generally more flattering. Oh yeah, I should have been just showing you guys in this mirror all along. Yeah, so this is kind of I'll keep this for I think this was like ten dollars or something. This is so cheap. I mean silly kind of not to get one of these at this price. We're rolling now. Next item is oh, I can't even really remember what I bought to be honest with you. Are these shorts? Now, I am not usually a shorts person. I have fat legs, um, and also my legs are, they look fine in leggings and uh, jeans and what have you, but just because where I was so big for most of my life, like, I've got kind of like, they just kind of, my legs just need to be pulled up, and then I think they'd be okay. But yeah, my skin is like kind of a bit loose. It's a bit cellulite as I'm sure most people out there have the same problems. So I really, yeah, I really do not like to wear shorts. I just find that they do not flatter me in the slightest. Um, I find if I wear a short, uh, uh, a skirt of the same length, it looks a lot better than shorts, which just kind of accentuate the worst bits. But I don't mind this kind of cut of clotty kind of short. Um, you know, because sometimes I just don't care, like we're on holiday or, you know, you just need to have shorts to run around in. Um, but I wouldn't ever be wearing them out for a day out. But I quite like this print, so I wanted to try these, but they look, I mean, they are stretchy. They look quite small. These, oh, these are in the plus size range. I got onto the plus size range for some reason. And these are a 0XL. So I don't know if that just means XL, but maybe, maybe I should have gone for the XL, but let's. Try them on and see. Okay, so two more items. I'm not really sure what possessed me to get these because I find buying <laughs> swimwear, <laughs> I hate it. It's pure misery. And you almost, I certainly, it was my bizarre shaped body, could not buy something off the rack without trying it on. So I don't know why I thought this might be a good idea. Oh my God, they're tiny. <laughs> So, oh my god, they're like the 90s popper kind of things. <gasps> oh my god. I don't think I'm going to be trying this bikini on for you unless it looks like amazingly good. Um, <laughs> which I doubt it because it doesn't look like I'll be fitting in that. And then it comes with a little top. This is the large side and it looks very small. It also has these, oh, I guess that's the hole to get the, the so you can put the bra piece in that. The, I don't know if that's going to go over my boobs either. And it's got this very child safety belt kind of back. The material feels good. It feels thick and luxurious. Um, I guess if you if you order bikinis a lot. Oh, and it's got this as well. Oh, it's got some extra little some extra little knickers. So it's there for under the shorts. I just thought the shorts might be more flattering to my figure, but they look so tiny. Alright, I don't think I'll be trying it on, but I will let you know how I get on. Okay. And the last one is the last bikini. Again, I probably am wasting my time here. But, ooh. So these are the large 
Bridget Jones Star Bikini Knickers, which is my preference because they cover up my big fat overhang tummy. Um, I thought the print was quite cute, which it is. I like the pineapple. Again, it feels quite thick. It's lined-ish. Yeah, like this is the same as you'd get in um, H&M or wherever. And then, oh, this is the top. And, oh. So it's kind of like a bra -y type thing. And then it's got this little bit of frill as well. So I think this is cute. Again, I will probably not show you this uh, myself. I will not show you what this looks like, but I will let you know how I get home. This last one. These are the shorts, which I was worried might not fit, but they do. I would definitely like rock these in the summer with a crop top. Um, it looks more like a skirt than a, they're like that culottes kind of thing, but I like the print. Got pockets. And then this is one of the bikini tops. Just wanted to try something on with the shorts. I mean, it's not the most flattering to my figure, but it does fit. And actually I just tried on, um, let me show you this right. I just tried on the bikini bottoms of the other ones, which I really thought were never going to fit, and they did. I don't know how good I look in it, but I don't particularly look good in any bikini. So I'm actually quite impressed with the bikini things and the shorts. Okay, so obviously I've tried everything on now. Um, overall, I kind of have mixed feelings, I guess, about my bag. Um, I thought everything was actually very good quality. Nothing was like terrible or like really poorly constructed um the prices were great the, the kind of length of everything i thought you know everything's going to be really short or oversized which wasn't the case um i just don't know how happy i was with some of the items i think you know like when you go to forever 21 or h&m and you're just like on a shopping mission you just throw everything you might like in your basket and kind of um, then try it on and you end up keeping like two things. I feel like this was it. If I was in a store, I probably would have put most of it back and just kept like the white and yellow dress. I would have keep, probably keep the bikinis actually. I was quite happy with those. Um, and the, uh, the red dress I would have liked to have tried in a different size. Um, and one of the other printed dresses and the shorts were cute. But again, I don't know, like, oh, would I definitely have kept it? But now I feel I have to keep everything. Um, yeah, I don't hate anything enough to set, like, go through the effort of sending it back. Let's just put it that way. I might just give it away to friends. Um, I think the one dress that didn't fit, the first dress, that was my fault because I picked medium and not large, and I was clearly a large. So once you measure yourself and you go to the what thing that you fit, the, oh, the size that you your measurements fit in the best and also which one they recommend they're kind of on the money with that it's just depends how things fit on your body so i would be careful of fabrics kind of look at what you already have pick some if you know if you're not like very thin i think pick styles that suit your figure um but i certainly might order some stuff from them again i think in the winter they do like a lot of sweatshirts and jumpers and things that are quite well priced so I might try that. Maybe like a coat or a jacket because, um, you know, you've got a bit more room than with dresses. But yeah, I don't think I would. I wouldn't give it a terrible review, certainly. Um, yeah, I think maybe I would order from them again, but I wouldn't be in a hurry. I think next time I'll spend my $150 at Forever 21 or H&M and just buy things that I know 100% fit me. I mean, you, I think you can... Re Ugh, you can send things back here but I've heard it's hard to get a refund it's easier just to get credit which you replace but again I hate going to the post office so I probably won't do that um but I hope you have enjoyed this haul slash video I know how hard it is to get clothes here in Korea so I hope this has been a helpful guide if it has give me a thumbs up if it hasn't give me a thumbs up follow subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do another kind of clothing haul video um, because I would like to make one for you guys. Love you lots.